Work on the sewage collection system in Roadtown is expected to begin between April and May this year, and by water is expected to begin to produce water later in the year. This according to Anthony McMaster, the Acting Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Communications and Works in his report to the Standing Finance Committee before the budget debate. McMaster told the Standing Finance Committee, who are members of the House of Assembly, that the Ministry expects to issue several petty contracts within the next few months to finalize the sewage collection system in Roadtown leading to the new pump station. The Acting Permanent Secretary said Bywater was given approval to carry out this project and the collection system should have been installed. He said Bywater had indicated that they intended to begin works on the pump station in Road Town and the distribution line that led to Bird Point with the implementation at the sewage treatment plant at Bird Point. But to date, they have not done the work. Communication and Works Minister Mark Vantipole told the House of Assembly during the budget debate that he expects sewage works to begin in the next three months. And he himself knows that we got to finish the sewage project, so he puts $8 million in the budget to deal with it. And we're going to execute that sewage project, Madam Speaker. We've started all the preparatory work, and hopefully by the beginning of the second quarter of this year, we can start moving in that direction with our sewage project, both in Eastern Laulok and in Rotown. The Standing Finance Committee report says two contracts have been awarded by Cabinet for the National Sewage Program, and the Department has begun compiling the contract documents for signage. One contract will cover the area from Blackburn Highway from Chapel Hill to Paramtown, while the other for Road Town will involve preparation for the national collection system. McMaster says the works should be completed before the August 60th Emancipation Festival activities. Meanwhile, February 18, 2014 marked four years since government signed a contract with Bywater to improve the water situation on Tortola and to rehabilitate the sewage systems. Bywater BVI was given a loan of $40 million by the UK-based company Bywater SA to assist with the project and build the Parakita Bay plant. Minister Vantipole during the budget debate said he hopes Bywater would begin water distribution by the third quarter of the year. Minister Vantipole said the territory has to be ready to accept the 2.3 gallons of water per day because government has to pay by water whether or not the water is used. We have a we have an albatross around our neck. I am not going to say it any differently. The by water thing is an albatross around our neck. I tried to get rid of it, but it's there. I can't move it. Yeah. Madam Speaker, we have some issues with the water, like I said. We, I don't want to go into it very deeply at this point, but I would just say that we hope that by water can deliver water to us by the beginning, by the middle of this year, I mean, uh, or, or beginning of the third quarter. And once they do that, the government is going to have a responsibility to take 2.3 million gallons of water at a, lot, at a cost of a lot of money. And if you can't take it and use it, we've got to pay for it still. That's the deal in that, in that agreement. So we are working towards fixing some situation where we can get water all over the country. Commenting on the introduction of the water into the national grid by by water, McMaster told the Standing Finance Committee the final phase of the project has begun and work is ongoing on the intake lines that would be installed from the Parakita Bay Lagoon into the Sir Francis Drake Channel. He also stated that they were working on the remainder of the distribution line that leads from Parakita Bay to Sabbath Hill. According to Anthony McMaster's report to the Standing Finance Committee, distribution of the 2.3 million gallons of water to the national grid should begin by the fourth quarter of 2014.